Okay, so um, uh, we we have cut uh, we we've if you don't if you include Lay Me Low, which is already done and out, and will be on the new record. Yeah. Um, we have 18 songs. Uh, I'd like to cut down to 12 or 13, and it just kind of depends on what's best. I don't know. Some of, I mean, it, you know, I'm, I'm producing this stuff, so some of it may sound like... <laughs> <laughs> what if you just make every song like two minutes and you can fit every song? <laughs> It'd be radio friendly. I like, I like, yeah, right? That's horrible what they do to us. <laughs> to say. The song's more than two minutes, it's, it's a deep cut. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, can I ask you a few questions off of Twitter? Some, that I, some jewels you, that I collected today. You may. For you. You may. Because I mentioned that I was going to be here doing a Q&A &A, Q &A with you, and my Twitter got flooded with questions. <laughs> um, you have a strong online presence. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Christine says, this is actually, oh yeah, this is a statement and a question. <laughs> <laughs> Christine says. Did you guys uh, get together and feel, figure out the format of this? Is that what yeah. I I had no idea this was coming, so, yeah. Here we go. Christine says, next year will be her first race for hope. Good. Uh, and she wants to know, will you be there in 2015? Yeah, absolutely. Right on. I mean, <laughs> God, that was super simple. Uh, listen, um, this is, uh, this is not, I, I, I don't come here every year uh, um, necessarily in a professional capacity. Um, I, I, you know, you guys know the story about the first year I was here and all that. I don't really want to get into it because I don't want to cry. Uh, but, um... I, I'll come here every year that they'll allow us to come here because, yeah, it's it's a cathartic thing for me and my family. So, right and, I, and yeah, this is bonus. I get to hang out with you guys too. Yeah. Awesome. It, it definitely. It, the cool thing about, about being involved in this, I think, is that it, everybody's a family here. We're all part of the same same mentality and purpose and cause. It's really nice to have everybody in one room here with David. Uh, who will uh, actually? Will you be performing an idol? This year, any plans to perform an, on Idol at all? This is from Twitter. Uh, no. I, 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 as of now, uh, his, uh, historically, um, most of the time with Idol, those things kind of come together real quick. I don't. I mean, I don't think we've ever booked months out on Idol. It's usually like a couple weeks. So um, I know, right? Uh, yeah, this might be the first year I haven't performed on it since uh, since I was on it. And, and I mean, you know, it's it's one of those things that I'd, I'd rather get all our ducks in a row and get the record yeah, done yeah, and yeah. Read, yeah. going yeah. where we needed to go, and then so that way it's not just us meandering on idle and selling you know a few thousand copies of a single, and then it's like, hey, we'll see you next year. Yeah. Um, get a little bit more of a lasting impression. So. Yeah. Will you uh, or have you considered having any? Um, any of your music on TV shows, movies, anything talks about that? Well, if it were up to me, it would be on every TV show. You can't mention residuals. Uh, <laughs> that's free money. Uh, you know? Right. Uh, no, um, yeah, we've, I've, I've, in fact, um, I don't remember if I've told this story. We, uh, Andy, Skib, and I, we wrote, uh, or we didn't write it, but we reworked uh, Wicked Game by Chris Isaac, a song that I we actually that played song. live. Great song. Um, um, with the intent of selling it to, not selling it, but getting it played on a TV show, and it was just going to be that. And we were so kind of enamored with the arrangement that we decided to keep playing it. So, um, but yeah, those things pop up, and you know, we've meddled. It just hasn't really come together. Which leads me. This is a personal question. Which uh -oh. leads not no not personal in that aspect. Personal, personal for me. Okay. Rather, uh, which leads me to my next question. When I when I worked in Atlanta, which was over three years ago. Um, the station I worked for used to make us do something called voice tracking, which I don't know if you're familiar with. No. It makes it sound like we're there when we're really not. Which oh, okay. Is, which is not something the current radio station I work for believes in, thankfully. So, but we, but I remember playing Light On. Yes. And I was like, I have four seconds. What am I going to say over the intro of this song? Uh-oh. And we have to be very brief. And then it occurred to me, I'm like, how come this isn't the theme song for Motel 6? <laughs> And that's what I said. I said, maybe David Cook should consider this being the theme song for Motel 6. They know, they know where to find me. They'll leave the line on for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. I like that. Do we have a rep here from Motel 6? It's not a bad idea, right? Or Tom any Bogan. rival of Motel 6 that wants to beat him to the punch. I'm willing to do that as well. I want a cut of that, by the way, if that happens. That's fine. Another song? 10% finder's fee. Sure. Let's do it.